hope this video is in HD because if it's not, I'm going to cry. Hey guys, it's Karis and I'm back for another video. I know I've been absent for such a long time. Um, in this video, I'll just explain why I've not been uploading and what it was like being in such a big theatre to do such an amazing production. So I really hope you like, like this video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I really hope you like this video. It might be longer than my other videos because I've just got so much to say. But I really hope you like it and <sighs> let's go. So the reason I've not been uploading is because I was on holiday for two weeks and then I had two weeks of rehearsals and then three shows at the end of that and then for the like two or three weeks I had left I went out and I met friends and had sleepovers and I just kind of lay on the couch and was being my lazy self. And then more recently school started. I know. I know. <laughs> school just had to ruin somewhere, just come in and make me busy again, which no one likes. Trust me, no one likes it. And there's a couple um, things before we start this video, like talking about Sadie's Reads and everything. You'll have noticed that my hair has grown and you cannot see this ear, so I may not have an ear. I do, but it's hidden away. Second of all, I'm wearing the top to the show that I was in, so just to really advertise it or talk about it, add more effect. And third of all, look how cool my socks are, they are lions. Like, I have lions on my feet. I'm sorry, I'm just a little hyper. So anyway, let's go on to like what it was like being on stage and everything else. So as you can see by the top, I hope you can see, I was in Bugsy Malone at the Theatre Royal in Glasgow. And if you didn't know, that's a really big theatre, it's really famous, and it's the oldest theatre in the city. And just a few months before I performed there, I met Lorna Luft. And Ray Quinn and everybody else in the songbook of Judy Garland. So it was kind of scary thinking about performing on the same stage as Lorna has performed in. That scared me. Um, so I did the auditions in April. I didn't think I'd get through because I know so many people who have, I know so many people like, have had so much stage experience and I've only ever performed in like, my local area. So I've, I, I'd never done anything this big before, so I did my best. I didn't think I would get through, but like a month or two later, I got told that I had succeeded and I would be in the show, which was fabulous. And then as I said, like a month after that, I met Lauren Aloft and Raekwon and they were so lovely and nice and I was thinking, how am I going to perform on that stage where they've just performed? Because there's like over, I think there's like 1500 seats in the theatre, in the auditorium and I thought I am meant to perform there, like obviously for a bunch of other people like there was 89 other people in the cast, so it's a big cast but I thought I am meant to be on this stage performing in front of all those people how is that going to happen? but it happened and it was amazing we got so many great reviews and the cast was amazing and I love the whole cast and we've kept in touch afterwards and we still talk to each other like every day like every minute of every day apart from like right now because I'm recording but we talk a lot and it's just nice knowing that I'm part of a big thing. So as I mentioned we had two weeks of rehearsals well, it was really 10 days because we got the weekend off so it was every day from 10 to 4 so I had to wake up every day at like 7, half 7 to get dressed and everything, get prepared, get the train in and do all those hours of rehearsal which included singing, dancing and acting because we had so much choreography and so much scripts to learn and all these lyrics um, but everyone was really professional and <clears throat> sure we had like lots of fun but like really got to it and really did our best and we bought our A game as the director likes to say um, so 10 days of rehearsal to learn a whole production it might not seem like a lot of time but obviously we got a lot done to be able to do three shows and that was a show on the Friday night, a matinee on the Saturday and then a show on the Saturday night and as you can imagine at, like because we've spent like two weeks together um, everyone at the end of it was really emotional and we were all crying like everybody was crying and it was just nice to know that we'd all miss each other it was just nice to know as I said like 
few minutes to go. It's nice to know I'm part of a big theatre family, we're one big happy family and it's just nice. So as I've talked about all the choreography and everything and being part of our big happy family, I'm going to talk about what it was like to perform. So as I mentioned there's like 1500 seats in the auditorium and I have stage fright so before I do like any kind of performance, like not really presentations in class, but like acting or singing or dancing or whatever, I get panicky and sometimes I feel really ill before I perform because I just really want to do a good job and sometimes I'm scared that I won't do a good job. So because this is such, this is such a big thing, I really freaked out before I went on and before I had my talking bits I had to ask my friend what my lines were because I kept forgetting because I was stressing so much and I don't know, I was just a wreck. Um, but once But once I got out and I saw the audience and I saw them smiling and clapping, I knew that I'd be alright because I had all these people being really supportive and it just made me feel warm and fuzzy inside and as I said, it was a great success, we're all fabulous. <laughs>